This is the beginning of the show. Is it? Yeah, we're oh. here. We're in it. It's another hour with the Misfits. It's Whoa. me, Fitz, and Toby. Hi. Hey. And Sweat. Well, you're not Toby. Yeah, no, this is weird. Weird. I'm like, what the fuck? You're not introducing me. I was right about to. No, you weren't. Yeah, I there's, was. There's no, a, you weren't. I was right about to, I swear. No, you, you weren't. I was literally on the tip of my tongue to be like, and yeah, also then, joined then, by Swagger Souls. I hate Souls. when this happens. <laughs> hey, guys, me, Swagger Souls here. You're Nobody asked. What are you doing? Who? Why, who asked? <laughs> not me. <laughs> fuck you. So much t- Are you guys okay between the two of you? Yeah. My handshake? Oof. Oh, oh we God. both did it. Oh. <laughs> but uh, Swagger looked a lot cooler when he came. Yeah, he, he, he looked a little bit he cooler. Went back with it. Audio I am, listeners. I am kind of cool for the audio listeners that, you know, by the way, love you. Um, you always say that. Yeah, I, I don't mean it. But <laughs> either way, love you. Uh, yeah, I did this really cool thing where, like, I went to give Toby, like, a dab up, and then I, like, yeah. slid it back behind my head. Yeah. yeah. Like, Is that the original my, move? They fixed my hair. But yeah. I don't actually have hair to fix. because sure I'm, I'm For the audio listeners, if, you're not, if you don't know this, I don't show my face. Yeah. Uh, which is, oh, which yeah. Is, imagine, if, uh, imagine being an audio listener. And you, you've listened to a hundred episodes, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna check out the video. And, and you, you see, just see yeah. that everyone, Swagger has everyone a mask. Is, no, everyone is, you see, it's everyone weird. is so ugly, and then then you, they look at me and they go, "This guy gets it." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's you wearing know, a mask to protect us from the. You ugly. know, uh, you know, his son, his son to be. The streamer, uh, yeah, the, the streamer, political yeah, guy, ex Young Turks fellow. Yeah, he's yeah. he's very attractive, but yeah. that, that was my point. He uh, he he did a thing apparently where he he like rated Twitch streamers based on their appearance. And of course, I was on there because good-looking man. Um, he c- couldn't rate me because you know I didn't have like a face to to, to show. Yeah. yeah. And he called me the Taliban. He <laughs> said the Taliban <laughs> is streaming on Twitch now, which I do not endorse. <laughs> by the way, I don't endorse the Taliban. That's good. Yeah. I've, sa- I've said it. Do you endorse them streaming on Twitch though? Dude, if they're streaming on Twitch, gonna be funny. <laughs> like, would you imagine? Yeah, like, they'd just be you, so happy in the gym, you know? Yeah, dude. <laughs> just working out. Dude, seeing videos of the Taliban, like, work out at, like, captured gyms was fucking great. Yeah. Hey, can, can, really can, we it, can we pull it up? Can we pull up the videos of the, of the Taliban? Can we pull up some Taliban funny moments, please? Yeah. <laughs> With not, the not, spinning monkeys in the background? Not, not, not the live leak stuff. But Iconic like the, 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 the Taliban the, funny moments. Yeah, the good shit. Can Number put one. some royalty-free music over Taliban footage and <laughs> just zone out for a bit? Dude, it's like <laughs> them fucking rolling into Gabal and it's just sneaky snitch. <laughs> I like the Spinning Monkeys one better. It's, oh, it's dude, more, Spinning it's Monkeys more up tempo and funny. Yeah, the Taliban be existing just like us, just like you at home, listening to this with your ears, your conscious I'm right so now. I'm so sorry about that, by the way. The, about the Taliban? No, about okay. about being conscious, oh, about like being oh. self aware, about you know. It's being alive, mission, it sucks. What's your fucking big deal? Like, like, oh, well, I'm, I'm conscious. It's yeah. fucking, I'm sick of it. You guys to ever be feel honest. like you're just in the sunken place and you're like beneath your own self and you're uh, just acting out of like human impulse and emotion, but like really, there's the real you beneath all that screaming like, be better. Yeah. Then there's like this, this, this dark, <laughs> there's like this dark void in like the pit yeah. of your stomach that's like okay. constantly trying to suck away your real ego down yeah. into the darkness where like you, you can never get it back. And soon you just become like a shell of your former self, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's almost like you're just sitting in the auditorium watching the show of your own life unfold okay. and you're like in the audience criticizing it, but yet unable to make a change. Yeah. No, I mm. just, I just, uh, I just act based on what's going to make me the most money. That works too. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> nothing like the endless pursuit of greed to yeah, let's go. fill the soul. That's me. <laughs> Man, but I, I mean, I liked your your guys' ones too. That was that well, was good. Yeah. But I mean, it's an okay way of living. I yeah. don't know if I would personally subscribe to it if I had the choice. It, yeah, it costs money. I just like and turn notifications on, bro. <laughs> like and turn notifications <laughs> on your own mind. <laughs> that's that's, that's that self awareness, baby. Mm. That's, mm. that's I'm 14 and this is deep. <laughs> that's like that's probably more like a 15 year old that was that was actually deep. <laughs> you reckon yeah that's, oh really that's a compliment that's pretty good everyone knows 15 year olds are the smartest of them all yeah that's what yeah. they said about albert einstein oh yeah and and his brother albert epstein <laughs> all right well what did they say sorry <laughs> uh you didn't even remember you're just <laughs> oh they uh, that 15 year olds are the smartest oh uh, yeah wait so you're saying that they said that when albert was 15 yeah, because he's so smart. He, is pretty, and, he was pretty smart. And when Epstein was in prison, they're like, well, to be fair, 15-year-olds are the smartest. <laughs> <laughs> if 
Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of ways people can take that joke, but I yeah. took it in the smart way. So like, yeah, if you're if you're smart, yeah. you would have yeah. laughed at that. Yeah. If, if you're if you if you have, I, like, are you dumb? You know, if, if you're dumb, you would have been like, oh, that was like kind of a weird joke. It yeah. didn't really land all that well. But yeah. it's just because you're an idiot. It's an open ended joke. I it think. is open ended. No, no yeah. better joke. It, 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 there's no better joke than one that is left open ended. Knock knock. Who's there? Yeah, this is depressing. Yeah, because now there's just no resolution, and I'm yeah. just anxious because I'm like, well, who's there? Yeah, exactly. Who was there? Who was there? Is it Are they gone now? <laughs> Someone's knocking. No, people never knock at my door anymore. <laughs> Peering out the window. <laughs> Are they gone? Yeah. This isn't funny. <laughs> I feel distressed. I yeah. really need to know who's there. That'd be a great way to um to uh, gaslight someone. But did you hear that knock at the door? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, no, you're like, oh, there it is again. What, you don't hear that? What are you, deaf? It's <laughs> 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 insane. I just, <laughs> and like, it'd be so funny. Like, imagine just like getting a group of people and like just they have like one person in your friend group and it's like the target and like you all just start like pretending. <laughs> this is so terrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, it's like, like something is happening. Like, you'd be like, Oh, do you fucking hear that? And everyone's like, f- like covering their ears, like, oh, what is that noise? And they fucking freaking out. Yeah. I feel like that'd be like really funny. You know what I saw to today? Do to someone. I, 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 I saw want to start a gaslight group. Yeah, well, gaslight group on Facebook. I, I saw this thing recent today. Actually, uh, uh, it, it's like a very old video because I remember seeing it years ago. But I saw it again today, and it's this like this street magician guy, and he convinces like a whole group of extras to uh, basically. Uh, act as if he turns someone invisible. So he, yeah. So he, he gets this like this random guy comes along to watch the performance, and, and then he brings him in from the crowd, pretends he makes him invisible. Then everyone in the crowd is like, "Oh my god!" And they like take photos with him, but they have pre-prepared photos where there's yeah. no one in the seat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and this dude just like freaks out because he thinks he's invisible. <laughs> he just mm. he just looks like actually like just super strange. Oh, Dude, so they should, but him was they should they should yeah. do that to like a child, uh, and then like record it for a vlog and then put it on YouTube for millions of views. Then see what he does did after. No, I don't think anyone did that, but oh. it'd be like really funny. Yeah. Like if you did that to did. a child, and then you just stuck with the bit for the whole day, they would just start doing outrageous shit. <laughs> sort of like you're invisible. fucking breaking the cookie jar, like fucking yeah, throwing their fist through the plasma screen, or just like stealing shit from stores or i mean imagine believing that you are actually invisible it'd be really awkward to be kind of jerking off and i <laughs> yeah i just feel like you'd, 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 you'd anyway. do something bad you feel, feel like... like confidence is key with it like as long as you just believe you're invisible enough <laughs> other people will just be forced to get around it yeah like if i was just adamant right now that i was invisible you'd probably be like yeah okay you are <laughs> For, i bet i could convince you <laughs> It wouldn't matter. I mean, it wouldn't matter if you were or not. Wait, the audio listeners should be able to hear you. I'm invisible to them. You That's are invisible to them. Oh, true. We're all invisible to them. For the audio listeners, Fitz is uh, taking off his shirt right now. That's right. Ugh. I gotta put it back on. Why do you have six nipples? <laughs> that's why. That's why <laughs> I only keep it on. Weird, dude. I know. I'm sorry. Do you mind if I like? Are your parents a dog? Can no I, like, cow. Can I no. squeeze like three of them at the same time? No, you can't. Really not. But maybe I could do like one with each hand and then like one with my toes. And these are things that friends ask each other. Yeah. Really? No. You know, I also squeeze multiple nipples at once. Yeah, only one. Yeah, at least work up to it. Let's well, so ask your producer, Blue, is it an appropriate thing to do to squeeze your friend's nipples after asking for consent? Is that what friends do? Well, it's only appropriate if I agree to it. Yeah. Which I don't. Yeah. If he doesn't agree, then no, you don't get to. You don't well, get to do well that. sure. But if he does. It's just harassment at that point. Well, it is harassment if he agrees. Are you going to do it? Is it over the shirt? <laughs> this just doesn't No, like up. under the shirt. Yeah. Are they wearing a shirt at, like, at first? And it's, they, it's irrelevant. They have to take the shirt off just so that you can fondle their nipples? No, they wouldn't have to take it off. You know what? Fuck it. I, I, I might like it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't like that. No, you didn't no, like it. Not, not about yeah, it. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, it was, it was weird. Weird. Did, Did you feel like how hot they were? Feel lumps? Yeah. No, not lumps. They're just really big and voluminous. Oh yeah, voluptuous, yeah. voluptuous, Beautiful. yeah, yeah, wow. Just like the JBL speaker that we're. Uh... Oh, oh yeah! Shit. Wow, yeah. We're the... welcome back to the Mystery <laughs> Podcast, powered by JBL. We are wearing some very awesome JBL headphones. They awesome. light up. Uh, your both of yours light up. Mine don't. They light up. You can hear things through them. It's a good product for it's, gamers. It's bassy, trebly. It is. It's normal it's, too. It's also very normal. If you don't, if you, it, it's exceptionally. It is for people that are not weird. So if you don't want to be weird, 
then go pick <laughs> up these JBL headsets wow. today. Yeah. Uh, Mitchell, bro, <laughs> put, a, put, a, put a link here to the, to the to JBL. We're not going to do that. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> anyways, I also, we have JBL speakers, the scuffed JBL speakers. If you want to mm. go and uh, pick up your very own scuffed JBL speaker, uh, you need to be only in Australia or New Zealand to yeah. uh, purchase them. So if you're in the U.S., sorry. But anyway. But JBL yeah, speakers. JBL, <laughs> yes. Yes, we love them. They're powering the podcast and bringing joy to my ears personally. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. I can, you got me taste these sound holes. I can. St- I- <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I say. Every yeah. Time. Yeah, mm, that's exactly what the spider says before it crawls into my ear <laughs> as I go to sleep. Rubbing its hands together. Mm, 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 yummy, tasty, yummy, sound, tasty holes. sound holes. I'm going to chew on his eardrum for a little bit. And nibble yeah. on this wax I found in here. And then he forms a little web hammock in your a ear. A web hammock in your he ear. Just lays down, snuggles up. Mm. Yeah, I, I used to have a, like a fear that whenever I put on headphones, there would be a spider inside it and it would climb What if you put Sometimes on Sometimes the, the fear was so uh It's the most Australian, so most like Australian New Zealand fear. <laughs> fucking, There's not you know, that many spiders I've, in New Zealand. I've heard of like yeah. shaking out your boots and your shoes, you, you know, when you yeah, go imagine camping. Yeah, imagine putting like, your foot yeah. in and there's a huntsman in there or something. I yeah, had a but, spider in my shoe the other week. I also saw, um, was it Buys, I think, tweeted about uh, there being a, a red back on the underside of his bin handle, like his uh, uh, garbage, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, what do you call it in America? Trash can or whatever the fuck? A garbage bin. A garbage bin. Yeah, we yeah. could just call them bins. Yeah. But anyway, like I, I'm always so scared of there being a spider underneath where the handle is when I go take my bin out at night. You ever think about that? I just fucking kick mine <laughs> yeah. under the street. But then I just worry that that's gonna wait. You kick it the whole way? Yeah. Is it like out the wait, front? I have to like go around the back no, and like yeah, drag so it. Like, it's up on my porch, so I have to like uh, I move it like with my legs and then I just kind of like the second story of his house. I do like I do like I do like, I do, like it. I do like roundhouse <laughs> kicks to kind of like get it along, and then right. I'll just kind of scoot it out with my foot. It's combo moves. Yeah, yeah. No, for Great. me, it's like Street a bit fighter. of a journey. And my neighbor there's always it. webs on the underside. I don't know if you guys noticed this. Yeah. This can't be just a me thing. But there are spiders under there from time to time, yeah. and I have to get rid of them. Shit, really? Otherwise, the whole time I'm carrying it, I think they're going to climb on my hand and fucking What's the kill worst me. thing they could do? Kill Probably you. Be, be venomous and bite me, yeah. Yeah, then you go to the hospital, and they, they, they stick you with medicine. Yeah, I t- I, that's what I tell myself when I'm doing it. I literally tell myself that I'm like, listen, even if I get bit, I can just call the hospital and I'll be all right. Yeah, and it's a good story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't mean I'm looking forward to being bit. It hurts no, quite painful. Sometimes yeah. they paralyze you. My dad my dad uh, was bit on the forehead by a brown recluse, which is apparently a very venomous spider. And <laughs> I thought it was a really racist way of referring to an introverted person. <laughs> <laughs> Some homeless black guy <laughs> <laughs> just comes up, bites him on the forehead. Yeah. No, no, it was uh, it's this fucking spider. I know you thought the same thing because you looked at me, I did. dude. <laughs> it's spi- it's this spider that apparently its venom is like it decays your flesh. It gives you gangrene. Oh, it's like crocodile. So gangrene? practically, yeah, gangrene, <laughs> green gang. But yeah, what's that? So it's like it makes your flesh ride, uh, and it really fucks you up. That's not good. Yeah, and it has this divot on his forehead. Still there? Yeah, it's still there to this day. Just a little dent. Little yeah, it's practically a little. Uh, it's like someone took a took a chisel and just kind of went like he, that. He didn't get any powers or nothing. Dude, it's so boring. Ugh, my dad's so fucking boring. <laughs> gets bit by a spider. He's got fucking powers. Yeah, he's just a rocket he's scientist. Got a, got a moderate illness. He's fucking a rocket scientist designs rocket planes scientist and ships. Terrible at Age of Empires. Dude, he's fucking awful at Age of Empires. And he's been playing it for like fucking 14 years. <laughs> That's a lot of years. It's a lot of years. Does your dad still listen to the podcast? Yeah, every episode. Oh, hey, I dad. mean, he's, he's really good hey, at dad. Age of Empires. Love hey. you. No, I haven't called you in a while. Yeah. I don't even know what I'd do if my dad told me he listened to every episode of the podcast. Well, my, my dad, uh, w- like, he, he, he'll reference things from the podcast. My dad will as well. <laughs> yeah, he'll, be, he'll, he'll just be like, you know... I can't think of one off the top of my head, actually. Um, but, you know. Hey, I'll, how I'll about be... all that coke you do? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I'll just be talking to him, and he'll mention something that was on the podcast, and I'll be like, oh. That's like actively listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Makes me wonder about what family members of mine do actively listen to it that I don't know about. That kind of thing freaks me <laughs> probably out. Probably your cousins? Yeah, young, probably. Your younger probably cousins? Probably some of them. Well, I, I, I feel like they would have stopped by now. Did <laughs> 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 get boring? No, I think they're just listening to other podcasts, you know. Mm. Yeah, like, uh, like one's about sex. Yeah. We don't have enough sex. <laughs> that's true. That's that's the problem with our podcast. There's no sex appeal. We're done on a sex position tier list instead. Oh. Sex position? 
sex position. Like like positions oh, to have sex in. I yeah. thought it was Not like expedition. I thought it was like an <laughs> like an exposition. Yeah. But sex like bo. with sex. Sex bo. That's what they call them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently they're awful. Very smelly. Very stinky. Very I'd stinky. still be curious enough to go. Yeah, I'm sure you would. They kind of lure people in to go <laughs> into... I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I think they lure people to those conventions by like showing the gifts of the porn stars. It's like having sex with like the common guy at the convention or like they have sex on stage and stuff. I think that kind of thing does actually happen. But I think for a majority, the conventions seem to be very smelly. Very gross. Shit is. N- Wait, so <laughs> they have yeah. sex with people at the convention? I think. So. Well, I've seen like videos of Riley Reed like getting crazy at a sex convention mm-hmm. and stuff, like on stage, How and, like know? letting fans. How is that whatever. legal? I, it's just sex. Yeah, There's something illegal about it. I guess. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I think they probably have to get checked for STDs or whatever. But other than that, I was going to say she would not fly with the current current COVID restrictions at all. <laughs> Imagine with like it's like all right, you guys can have your sex, but you can fuck on stage, any position, do whatever you want, but you can't wear cloth masks anymore. We have to, we have to start, we have to start giving you the proper doctor surgical masks. Not. <laughs> Stop yeah. the spread unless it's your pussy <laughs> and then go for it. You gotta put a mask on that too, unfortunately. Dude, that would suck. Yeah. Queef is queefs are actually the number one transmitter of COVID <laughs> in recent months. Really? Uh, That's right. Yeah. Just would you hobby. imagine? I just did, yeah. <laughs> was it a, was it a good was it a good No, image? no, it's kinda of disgusting. I'm just imagining like spores coming out of a vagina. Ew. <laughs> kinda yeah. epic though. Yeah. You, know, you ever think about that Sp- little spory vagina? I just did. Yeah, <laughs> little, little fungus. What about puss? what about like it, the, like imagine this? It's a penis, uh-huh. and then like the head of the dick, like is go, a mushroom. Like f- fans open like a mushroom, and underneath are gills, and then uh, those yeah. drop spores. That's incredible. Now, would that be sick? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Would that be sick if they see how humans reproduced? That's they just drop sat on, on their back and their dick just umbrellaed and dropped a bunch of spores. Mm. And he could lay in the spores, roll around in it like a dog, get all pregnant and shit. Get all pregnant and shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's how, that's how shit reproduces, man. Yeah, you just come on someone's chest and there's a baby. Incredible stuff. What would happen if everyone was honest, Toby? If everyone was honest? Yeah, you ever seen that movie with Jim Carrey where everyone's honest? <laughs> oh, yeah. And no one can lie. It's called Liar Liar and he's the first one to discover what lying is. Wait. Was that, that was a Jim Carrey Ra- movie? That was Ricky Gervais. Yeah, I'm th- there's a Ricky uh, Gervais movie that's Ricky the same. Wasn't that the, the discovery of the lion? It maybe was yeah, like it was his whole, his, his, the it was, invention it, of lion. Yeah, it was all no, about... No, there's one called The Invention of the Lion and there's one called Liar Liar, which I think is Jim Carrey, but maybe yeah. we've got the plots mixed up. If it's yeah. Jim Carrey, it's probably better. Because the Ricky Gervais one was all about how God is stupid. And how Not like God most Ricky Gervais material. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Love that guy. But anyway, you know, the premise is an interesting one. We were talking on the pre-show about what if... Our world leaders just were completely honest yeah. guys, just super genuine, super just like, yeah, we fucked up there. <laughs> I think it would be good. I think the world would be in a better place if everyone was honest. It is historically the best policy. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> but but you would get, you know, there'd be times where you'd be like, oh, what that person said was a bit mean. You know, I feel yeah, a bit shitty now. I feel like after a few decades of pure honesty, everyone yeah. would be so hardened up to yeah. harsh truths and uh, unfortunate realities that... Yeah. that they would just be like, oh, well, at least now we know. Now, yeah. we, can pre- now we can prepare adequately. I Instead would just, of digging ourselves into 80-year ruts where we're just trying to cover up uh, huge problems in the world. Yeah. <laughs> I would just want to be the person that invented lying. Well, that's, that's, that's the power. Yeah, so I could yeah, use it just believe people. You. But like, what happens when you start getting really crazy with it? Ah, uh, yeah, like, just get, you know, you, you've kind of got all the power in the world, so you know you can do whatever you want, so you just kill someone. Yeah. Just because you can. Or, or what if we were just having this podcast and you just said to me, I'm not here right now? That would probably blow my mind. Oh, yeah. that's true. It's like, not true. But like, I'd have, like, how could you possibly lie? You just yeah. look down, you sit and go, I'm green. I'm, <laughs> I'm green. <laughs> yeah. what, was, was that a reference to <laughs> Dude, it? was a fucking stupid reference to, uh, you know, review, Brian? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when, I, when, when he uh, did a review on like a, like a green drink and they looked at it and he goes, it's green. I don't remember that. It, dude. That's such a niche reference, but I'm so glad that now I know about this. Yeah. 
I really hey, love that Blue, guy. Hey, Blue, pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> pull up Review Bra. Go in, say it's Gwen. I, I fucking love that guy. I do kind of want to hear it. Review Bra is a legend, man. What's he really he, is. he still doing he's it? Still, he's doing his radio show. He, yeah. he he did a thing on it. I think it was, uh, it might have been Taco Bell. It was like, is this new Taco Bell item? I think I saw uh, that. The worst item was a while that, ago, that has ever come out. It was like two weeks old. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe I didn't see that. Wait. Who is Review Bra? Review Bra is the guy in the suit. He looks like. Oh, the the, the food. Review He looks like a sickly man from the 50s in the best way. Okay, I love that guy. The report of the week. Yeah, that's what I know him as. I don't know him as Review Bra. Yeah, Yeah. dude. He's like. Does he review bras? No, he was weird. Weirdly not. He just reviews a bunch of fast food. That's really strange when people do that when they have like like a YouTube name and then they don't live up to it. Like like not playing uh, Dark Souls. Or like not being on a telly. Yeah, both of those things. <laughs> or like not fitting. Yeah, there he doorways. is. There he goes. God, look at that. Look audio. at the emotions on we his face. Yeah, there, there you go. go. There's no, there's no idea. But yeah. I, could, I could hear it just the same. It's, it's green. green. It's green. What drink is that? It's Red Bull. Yeah, it's oh. a green Red Bull. It's Green Bull. I can't get audio, sorry. That's all right. This podcast isn't supposed to work. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I think Green. it adds to the ironic comedy. If it, oh, the, there we go. Color on the can. It's the... the, the eyes. It's green. <laughs> it's green. I, I like I, that I like he the, paused for a bit there. He's like, it's... Uh, it's green. Yeah, that's him. That's him. That's the original video. It's him. That's the original. This, 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 this is, this is from like years ago when he was just a little baby. I'm not sure what to expect. What's the last time I had this? Oh my God. Why is he pouring it like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's... He hasn't learned how to do for it. For the audio listeners, review prize pouring uh, a monster energy he's, drink. Oh, very, so very, so very, so side, very poorly into a beautiful cup. He is, he's not even tilting the glass. There's going to be so much foam. It's like a chalice. Dude, Here I like go. how the uh, audio Aww. is such low quality. It almost makes it feel like a broadcast from the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> really adds to the whole He looks persona. so excited Here, to hold taste on, it. Hold on. Does he say it again? Yeah, yeah. Wait for it. <laughs> I'm just going to stop wasting time here. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. what we should do. Yeah, it's green. It's green. Okay. It's green. It's green. Okay, it's, we know it's, it's green. Look it's green. Look at it. It's greenish yellow. It is oh, a greenish it's yellow. And it's cloudy too. Incredible. All right, now you can stop that. We're so that's review, Brian. Looking at a an, a, a canned energy drink that's green. <laughs> what a world I'm, we live in. I know. I'm of so a glad better. we we get to uh, <laughs> you know experience the references now. Yeah, but I <laughs> I know of a better energy drink that comes you in did? powdered form that, that is also green. Sometimes it can be green, or it can be pink. It can as be you can pink. See, it is called Gamer Subs. Gamersubs.gg is the only place to go if you want to get your very own beautiful tub of powdered gaming energy. It's also currently the only place you can go to see me naked. It is true. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. What about the underside? Uh, well, it's, no, that's it was, pretty hard to access yeah, that one. Down. But it is a very, very good product if you are ever tired or if you ever mm. don't, you're ever falling behind in gaming. Maybe you're bottom fragging. Maybe you're yeah. a bottom bitch and you want to get big, tough, and strong. Yeah. Like top bitch. The beauty of Gamers Ops is that it is keto friendly. There's no sugar, there's no additives, there's no carbs, and zero calories. Yeah. Very, if you replace all the soda in your life with Gamers Ops, you will get fit. And quick with a big dick. They also, of, they also actively fill it with uh, vitamins and, and minerals that they know that gamers are traditionally deficient in. Which yeah. is all of them. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. And say you uh, say say your energy levels are fine, but you want to work on your libido because watching watching hentai Ooh. every every night probably doing a doing a number on your on your calloused cock. So. <laughs> If you want to get hard without going through the hard effort of mm. beating off, you can go ahead, Toby, this is your team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go ahead and grab the Toby on the Telly, telly Waifu Cup, the first ever waifu of a real person, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. It's me, fucking naked. Uh, the, the color of the drink shows through in my tattoos, so you can change the color of my tattoos. It's fucking sick. Go buy it. They're going to be sold out real quick, probably. So uh, you want it, trust yeah, me. The shaker cups be selling like crazy. Yes, yeah. they do. And it's Local. very limited because, you know, why not? 
<laughs> it's really limited because I hate you guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fuck you. You guys want it? Fucking buy it on the second hand market, pussies. Wow. So but, if you're but buy it now, please. Yeah, that that cup releases on the twenty first. Twenty first. The twenty first of September. We should be around the day this podcast release. If it's a day early or a day late, well now you know. Yeah. You put a bookmark or go there and buy it. Go to gamersubs.gg and use code Misfits for ten percent off. Or if you want to be a real simp, use code Toby. T O B I. Thank you. With That's, an that eye. was kind of yep. you. Nice. Yeah, no problem. I'm taking money from the rest of the misfits. Yeah, now. she can use <laughs> all the help that she can get. It's true. Yeah, uh, I mean, like you said earlier, you're motivated purely by money. Yeah, and just not very good at it. Yeah, well, you spend a lot. I'm good at spending. <laughs> yeah, not, not so good at gaining. Not so good at the return thing. Yeah, mm. well, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Gamer Subs, for powering the podcast. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Gamer Subs. Fucking lit. Speaking of money. Have I talked about on the podcast I've been looking for a, a side hustle? Or like a, like a, <laughs> well, not a side hustle, but like a product to sell? It's really this. Oh, yeah. You're, You're really the drugs finally, huh? This, this desperate, are you? What? No, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to get fucked for money. Oh. Uh, no, uh, I, I, I uh, decided to go out and buy myself a, a heat press. A heat press? So that oh. I can heat press shit onto t-shirts. Saw this on your story. Yeah. Really? It's this big ass. I didn't. It's this big flat machine <laughs> thing. It, you press it and it's it gets up to like you know 400 degrees Fahrenheit or something. Well, it's and, pretty uh, high. Yeah, you put you put you cut vinyls out and stick it onto a t-shirt. I'm gonna start making clothes. So make some, I love New York shirts. Yeah. Oh, uh, I made this last night. Oh, it's so cute. It says it says, it says it says Elise Hart Toby. Oh, you got yeah, some hearts on the sleeve there. Yeah, Looks great. Quality. You're wearing heart on your sleeve, Toby. Oh, that's what it means. She made this. I, uh -huh. I just put it on. What, if you take damage, does one of these hearts disappear? Yeah, it goes half at a time. Just punch her in the <laughs> face. That's <laughs> what heart goes. I'm on half a heart. I'm on half a heart. <laughs> Look, eat. Eat a pork chop. <laughs> But anyway, I mean, it's just a kind of fun, what? fun little creative outlet for me. You know what That's I mean? Cool. Huh? Creative outlets are cool Ooh, and important. Creativity, you know, maybe do some painting. Hmm? Maybe mm. some <laughs> some what? Some painting. <laughs> some painting. Maybe, oh. maybe make some music. Yeah, some, express yourself. Some theatrical expressionism. You know what I mean? Interpretive mm. dance. Yeah. A one girl Broadway play. Creationism. <laughs> That's what that is. I believe that God it's created very, very the world using uh, yeah, Broadway. That's a stretch. <laughs> we're all just, get there? We're all <laughs> just in one big the Broadway play. <laughs> there's a there's aliens in the crowd and they're watching us right now. You know? Oh, it's so like a bit of a just an endless Broadway play until the end. <laughs> oh. Only person who knows when that is is old Dave Ski. We Always have, getting Truman Show vibes from this. We've, <laughs> we've, we've finally lost the plight. It is gone. It is out of the window. Yeah. I think it's been gone for a long time. We've only just realized now that we've lost it. Yeah. It's like, um, you know, I lost my keys the other week. I didn't realize until I got home <laughs> that I lost them. You know, I How lost them a How did you get home while. without you? Oh. Yeah. Well, I got home to my door and then like, I'm like, where are, my, where are my fucking keys? It's the same thing with the podcast. Like, we were, we've been walking for a while. We've only yeah. just got home and we've just now realized we've lost the plot. Yeah, and yeah. it's been like a year and a half. Yeah. Now we have to retrace your steps for a year and a half where to was find that them. Plot? Yeah, but if where we get the back plot? in a year and a half. If someone else found the plot, do we have to ask them if they've got the plot oh, now? shit, who oh. would have the plot? I don't fucking know. I don't know if anyone has the plot these days. The plot's... <laughs> The plot thickens. There's a lot of people online claiming they have the plot, claiming they have the answers to where the plot might be found. Yeah. I don't know if it's really accurate. I've just got the clap. Oh, yeah. Well, it's yeah. less fun, isn't it? It's not the plot. No. It's no. actually that severe. Is it? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, it can't be fun. No, it's not. It's, you know, it's a little bit fun. You know, when, when, the, when the teacher goes up to the front of the class and goes... That's not what my teacher did. Can you imitate it? What did your teacher do? Oh, that one too. And then everyone would go. Okay, that was what it was. Yeah, you I did just, it wrong. I yeah, didn't do we, it right. we did the. Da, 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 yeah. Da, da, da. And then the. Yeah. yeah you it, literally just repeat it back to them. Yeah. That was the original government psyop. <laughs> if you guys What's don't a know. What's psyop? Can you elaborate is that like on that? like a trigger. That? It's like a, yeah, it's like an operation that, that is used to impact you psychologically. So that okay. was like the first thing that the CIA instilled in schools. So that what they did, they had all the teachers, you know, how do you get people to conform? You, you, you give them a way to, uh, to, to conform. Yeah. So that would be by setting an example, a very obnoxious example yeah. of, I want silence, I'm going to demand silence, and I'm going to force these children Why the fuck does conform. clapping make people silent? Because you go, 
just gets her attention, I guess. And then yeah. everybody should dog whistle. People don't know this. Dog whistle for children. Children are acting. Mike, you're you're, you're yeah. on the you're, you're going on the train. There's a fucking dude. And I walked. I I went to get a fucking uh, like thing from the post office today. Five little kids, maybe 13, 14, all had mullets, fucking eshes. Literally, I saw them for the first time in the wild. Fucking, <laughs> fucking crazy looking feral children. Hey, bros. You got a dude, cigarette, bros? Dude, when you're walking along, I'm like, what do I do if these people trying to wrestle the yeah. fucking package out of my hand? Because they're children and they're stupid and they're eshes. And so they think that their actions don't have consequences, which mm. they don't. So I'm thinking, well, if they come up to me, I'm going to pull that trick. They go, and then they'll yeah, but they, they do they, drop they, the package. I will, but they'll have no choice but to, but to repeat it back to me. That's true. You can run because yeah, that's, what happens after the clap? That's the that's, that's the original sign up. It's why teachers have been instilled in in yeah. our youth, and it's just frankly irredeemable. Yeah, this stuff is made way better by the fact that Swag is wearing a balaclava right now. <laughs> When when he talks about you know the government is fucking awful. Uh huh. True. Don't trust the government. Yeah, True. I heard they make frogs gay. They they made plenty of frogs gay. What's yeah. wrong about that? Yeah, there's a little bit of happy frogs. Yeah, happy but gay fucking frogs. each other. Yeah, gay frogs in a platform. Yeah, too. dude. But how are the how are these endangered frogs going to replicate when when they're all gay? They're not all gay. Well, when the majority of them are turned gay by chemicals in the water, what do you fucking do? It looks like we're trying to cull off the, the frog population. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably just lick a frog or two. Just lick a couple? Yeah. Mm. What if they say what happened? What? Turning gay. <laughs> <laughs> Psychedelic frog <laughs> semen on the frog's back. <laughs> you look you lick it. You become gay yourself. Changes your DNA. Did you know that there's actually one surefire way to turn straight if you are gay and you want to become straight as a man. It's called having an open mind. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Uh, okay, I was going to say dolphin pussy. Oh. Dolphin pussy, dolphin pussy is the best pussy. Straight. That shit will make you, you, that'll make you straight. Yeah, it's dolphin clean. pussy is S tier. <laughs> it is. We, we've covered this before. Of, of, all, the, of all the pussies, <laughs> S tier. Yeah. No, we've talked about this. Dolphin pussy juice is apparently something else. Yeah. Yeah. Coming buckets after that. <laughs> it, it, it is forced uh, primates to die because of yeah. the, Heart the, the strength of their organism. Yeah, but it's probably the fucking best way to die ever. That's true. What yeah, man. If I if I find out that I'm going out in a week, dolphin pussy for me all week long. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just go out, hunt a dolphin. Fuck it. <laughs> you hear those stories yeah, a lot. Social creatures. You hear those stories a lot. Like the, this fucking old guy who's like seventy years old, but he's super rich and he's banging like a twenty-year-old or whatever. Yeah. And then they have sex and he dies of a heart attack. Yeah. Like, pretty good way to go out. I guess. Pretty, pretty decent way. Better. It beats dying in your sleep. I don't know. I feel like when I'm that old, I wouldn't be attracted to twenty-year-olds. Yeah, uh, you'd be surprised, Toby. <laughs> I, I, I. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. No, but you're right. The, I'm sure at some point you'll be looking for something more than just yeah, I, yeah. A twenty year old, you'll be looking for a, a mature person your age. Perhaps. Yeah, I kind of feel like your your uh, who you're attracted to grows with yourself usually. Yeah, that might be true. Or yeah. maybe you'll find yourself in your seventies have fun having sex with twenty year olds. In which case, as long as it's consensual and not weird, go Wait, for it. Well, why'd you have to say not weird? Well, sometimes it could be weird. How could it be weird? What's I don't know. There's like a power it? dynamic or some other funny business going on, or like mm. maybe she's just using you for your money, or I don't know. Any, yeah, any but then of... it's just kind of like a mutual, mutually beneficial. I get to fuck a twenty year old, and yeah. they get some money. Do it as, yeah, sure. Do it as honest about it. About it. Yeah, uh, I'll give it a try when I'm that old, that age. Yeah. I reckon. Do you think if you were ever rich enough, would you would you be a sugar sugar daddy? You know, I think I'm into that. Yeah, I feel like you really have no. to be into it. I guess. Yeah, because I feel like it's less of a just a matter of oh I'm attracted to younger women and more about the whole power of it. Yeah, I guess there's probably all kinds of crazy things going on there. I want to yeah. be a sugar daddy that just gives sugar. Yeah, <laughs> just, just just straight up here's a bunch of lollies, here's a bunch of candy. <laughs> that's it. You can open a lolly store called Sugar Daddy. I oh, could. that's actually a really good idea. Yeah, it's a great. It's got to order exist. Then, then, it's then I can then exist. I can use it as a front to launder my drug money. Yeah, well, which actually, there'll be a lot of by then. A yeah. candy store called Sugar Daddy would be a great 
uh, place to have a like hidden speakeasy in the back or something, or like mm. a hidden strip club. You know, it's like there's there's a certain cabinet. Yeah, and if, you, what if you open it, it takes you back into the strip club. Would, would, that'd be very unusual because yeah, the main customers for a lolly <laughs> store yeah. are children. Okay, that's that's gonna gonna say, so what happens? They're like, what's a, back there? And you're like, that's not for okay. small people. Th- this is a good point. Um, I, I <laughs> it's take a that better suite for the adults. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, kid. <laughs> this this is yeah. why none of my businesses work. Right. You know, remember that time I opened that that uh that laundromat? Yeah. And for some reason nobody wanted to wash their their clothes and root beer. <laughs> yeah, it's like you always have a great premise. Yeah. And then you just fuck it up with some other shit. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I people, I love the smell what, of root beer. What do people like? They like doing their laundry. Yep. Yeah. And they like root beer. Yeah, to put them together. Yeah. I don't understand. Or, or like failed. when you open that car wash, and you're like, what do cars need? Oil. I wash the cars <laughs> with oil. Yeah. It it's seems two and one, two birds, one stone situation. No, no one liked that one either. Yeah, I don't get so. it. Like people always say, oh, all the best inventions are made uh, already, but like it's not true. The best inventions just get shut down because for some reason people don't like oil on their cars. <laughs> just, it really is still so bitter about that. It was years ago. Grow up. It's the sad truth. It really yeah. is the sad truth. <laughs> yeah, people are just stuck in the past. <laughs> you're just committed to this idea that you're a genius with great ideas. <laughs> but your ideas are just so flawed by one just dumb decision. Yeah. Yeah, there's always something wrong with them. You're so capable. You set up a whole business. You had employees, everything. Yeah, yeah. Oil. Why? Why'd you do that? Yeah. Fucking think about it. Well, because women look great covered in oil, yeah. especially black motor oil. Yeah, that. <laughs> just looks like they're covered in just honey. black bile. <laughs> Did you hear that? Uh, that Mark Zuckerberg announced. Uh, it's, some Ray-Ban sunglasses with cameras in them? Yeah. Of course he did. Yeah, yeah. sure. So that he can uh, actually see because his, <laughs> his robot eyes don't really work. So he's going to wear these glasses. They're going to plug into his AI head and he's going to be able to actually see. So wow. Cool. Yeah, if you... Uh, I'm not going to be surprised by any invention that Zuckerberg's made with yeah. a camera in the front of it. Well, the know? thing is, uh, th- th- it's not an original idea. Snap camera, yeah. snap glasses were a thing like... Google glasses, you know? Those snap ca- glasses are actually crazy. Remember when Chad was yeah, streaming Chad in was the boys? Him, yeah, and like, I just on Snapchat, just live streaming to the group and yeah. we're going to see what he saw. It's cool. Yeah, so it's essentially that, but they're Ray-Bans. Yeah. That's, the, uh, that's yeah. pretty so much the, the difference. Wow, how cool. How yeah. Cool. But you know, that's I can't wait kind to, of. I can't wait to wear those in a bar and get the shit kicked out of me. Yeah, there's a little red flashing light on the front when you're recording as well. Oh, snitches! Can't yeah. wait to oh see. no, I'll just cover it. <laughs> I'll just cover it with something. Because Mark Zuckerberg apparently, you know, he cares about privacy. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. I can't wait to see Casey Neistat buy a pair and then cover them in white paint and then be confused as to why the camera doesn't fucking work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's genius. So, it's like a. Lens cap that you gotta scratch off. <laughs> <laughs> you remember? Did you ever watch Casey and I's that? No. He always used to buy Ray Ban glasses and would it buy a new pair? He'd cover them in white paint and then he'd chip it away so they would have that kind of like white edge around the sides. Yeah. He like insisted on doing it with every pair. I think the first time for him. he like went, he went to like an orgy. Yeah. Came yeah. He out, went, went to an orgy, came out completely white, completely zinked up. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> zinc is so good. <laughs> yeah. You've been eating some zinc lately. Isn't it natural in like most fruit and veg? Yeah, zinc. Well, I don't want to speak out of turn here, but I think zinc's good for your immune system as yeah, well as your cum. It's very good for your cum. Apparently, <laughs> the more zinc you eat, apparently, the bigger load you could bust. Did you know that? No. Oh, actually, I think you guys have told me this before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was a point of conversation where we yeah. were all eating zinc. Yeah, we were like all downing the tablets before that one time. We yeah, were yeah, like yeah. all all yeah. the yeah. office. It was we right that big soggy anything. biscuit competition. <laughs> <we threw. laughs> yeah, because yeah. like a soggy biscuit competition is not that fun unless everyone's coming and. Oh uh, yeah, whole squad better be zinked up for that. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to. You don't want a, a d- fucking dicky dribbler. You know, <laughs> dicky dribbler. Yeah. You don't want a dicky dribbler. No. Speaking of cum, yeah. Uh, I I recently stopped taking my hormones temporarily so that I can freeze some cummy wummies. Oh, just for future? Yeah, so I can have a baby. Oh, yeah? I'm going to send them to uh-huh. future. So the, wait, the, I don't know if it's TMI, but the hormones prevent the cum? Yeah, the, the hormones, horm- the, the estrogen stops your cum from working. Wow. Oh, so it just completely fucking like but destroys still your spermies? Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. <laughs> right. So like you get the semen, but your sperm is fucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're just resigned. They're just given up. Yeah. yeah they're just, like, oh, we're here, but we're not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. they're like- we're not all, even interested in an egg. They're like all really sassy. <laughs> they're like-, they're like no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm not going to go over there. No, you actually just cum eggs. You cum eggs? Yeah. Maybe we fucking are. <laughs> Maybe your cum has just found purpose beyond swimming to an egg. Yeah. Maybe like, yeah, we got other shit going on. We yeah. don't need to. Joey be in built this rat a nightclub. Race. We're just going to hang out here. 
It's just in your balls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really feel like swimming to an egg today. Housewives of Beverly Hills is on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, don't yeah. Know, I don't know why. It I comes in lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can't, you can't just turn to gay. It's just like, no, no, this isn't an asshole. This isn't an amount to women anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like your cum I mean, gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, is that even possible? <laughs> Dude, I wish we knew a doctor. Get, yeah, get on the show. Get like an actual PhD, like like a doctor. I almost said Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil isn't a oh, doctor, yeah. is he? Yeah, well, maybe if we want to sell some snake I oil, we think, can get I think I'm thinking of Dr. Drew. I don't know who that is. Dr. Drew Peacock. I don't know who that is. Dr. But Dr. Drew, he's a psychologist, isn't he? He's a, I don't even it? know. What is, a, who's Dr. Drew? He's a TV doctor. Oh. Uh, so that guy that looks exactly like a TV doctor should look. He's yeah. Like yeah. Kind of chiseled. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. He looks like guy, he uh, some, wears alligator like, jackets and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's got glasses and yeah, like, know you know, short white hair. Yeah. Yeah, I know that guy. He gives me mad, not real doctor vibes. <laughs> yeah, I know he's a real doctor. I don't want to speak out of turn because I don't know Drew. You know, I don't know him personally. I wouldn't want to offend the guy. Yeah. I also am kind of scared of him. I guess his <laughs> very I guess chin. you could say that his patience drew the short straw. <laughs> what is that? What does that mean to him? Drew, no, they just because you said they aren't a real. He's not a real doctor. That's fine. It's you know. remember when you accused him of not being a real doctor. I'll bring that up again. <laughs> 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 yeah, I want to be a TV doctor someday. Yeah. What would you? What would you uh, be a doctor for? Just all of it. You just like I reckon a GP, just an across the board doctor. Yeah, what across a GP the board. Is. Like I wouldn't do any work for it. I would just be a TV doctor, right? You know, just have people on the show and be like, "Yeah, that sounds pretty fucked up." <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like it's just everything. Be like, gonna you know, I'm having issues with like you know, chronic lower back pain. You're like cancer. It's okay, cancer. I'm okay, sorry. You should see someone about that. They're like, <laughs> I am. Like, no, like someone who actually knows what they're doing. Like, I'm just a TV doctor. <laughs> 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 Imagine just being a doctor that just wrote scripts for cannabis and that's all you did. Yeah, the thing about writing scripts for cannabis is they can never remember their lines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that was really terrible. No, that's that was good. Say. I like that. Thanks. Thanks for I, that. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Let's make some fun. Oh. Yeah, no, that's cool though. It's cannabis doctor. I bet it probably are doctors that do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah they were. They probably make a lot of money. Yeah, they I did. have anxiety. Oh, here's some. Uh, here's some weed. <laughs> here's some weed. Yeah, it's it's not, gonna make, not gonna make any more anxious. <laughs> here's some weed. Don't freak out while you smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> don't be. Fre- don't freak out. That'll be so uncool. <laughs> you want to be cool, don't you? Yeah. That'd be cool, right? Smoke this joint. Smoke this on your friends. They'll think it's sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Well, so, should we uh, should well, we delve well, into the news? Of well, today? well, oh, before yeah. we get into the news, <laughs> oh. you have some news, oh, don't true. you? Yeah, I'm going to America. You're going to the USA, baby. A few days' time, leaving to the states. Uh, an opportunity has come up to get out of the country and get out of lockdown and go over to America with uh, Ryan and a few others that are working on merchandising and big exciting things. And I was like, man, all right, I'll come. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I, man. We have so many people in America that we know that I haven't spoken to in a long time. And uh, America is land of the free. And I would very much like to be free for a little while. So I'm going over to... Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going over to escape and hopefully to get a little inspired and hopefully to link up with some people that we haven't seen in ages. Yeah. It's the old mate Schlatt. Do you have any, any clue how long you'll be gone? Probably about a month. About a month? Yeah, that's that's the general plan. Maybe just more than a month, but I don't I don't think I'd want to be away for much longer than that. I start to get exhausted like three weeks to, into any trip. Start missing yeah. home. But I we'll get see. excited a week into LA. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about it, but I think we're going to bounce around and maybe go to Texas. We're mm. a lot of creators there. I was talking to Grizzly. I want to link up with him. Hell yeah. Schlatt. I want to cup two Mads titties. I want to mm. see a couple other folks I haven't seen in ages. Meet OTK, maybe see yeah. Smitty. Yeah, Smitty yeah. would be sick. Cryos. Cryos, all them. Fuck I'm yeah. jealous, man. Really envious. I would have loved yeah. to go, but I can't. Literally can't. Too much shit here. Yeah. No, I would love for you to come as well. It'd be epic. And for Toby to come. <laughs> so, yeah, but, uh, that's Toby, fine. Toby, yeah. <laughs> Wait, who? So, Toby's too busy, uh, <laughs> you know, with your new uh, business. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, selling, <laughs> selling my frozen cum. 
<laughs> no, but yeah, long story short, I'm going to the States and uh, hopefully it'll be cool. Yeah. And there might be some content for me over there. Yeah, we're, the we're hoping that, you know, you could call into the show when, well, you know, while you're gone, you know, yeah. or even just, you know, because time zones will be a bitch. Maybe you should record mm. like a weekly message like that we just play on the show. Like I'm, uh, like I'm in outer space or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, like, 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 like it's from fucking interstellar. Yeah, you see those the messages? <laughs> I'm like, I, I, my beard's really long. <laughs> this look old as fuck. <laughs> I, you guys are sending me messages back. You guys are like 40 by the time I return. <laughs> Your bank roll old. Yeah. No, I'm like, dude, cool. you're like, dude, where you been? Misfits ended like 30 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I came back. I'm so inspired, so ready. <laughs> it's fucking like, dude, it's, it's gone. It's all gone. It's where all were gone. you? It's in the past. No, but yeah, I'll, I'll check in. And uh, yeah, might, might link up with some other people and see what they're up to. Get some fresh faces on the podcast. Hell we'll yeah. See. That'd be really cool. It'd be nice to sit down in a room with some people and, uh, you know, do the old interview format. Yeah. Cool. But we'll see. Anyway, that's my news. America soon. By the time this is out, I'll be there. Yes, you so. will. So this might, we may, we, yeah, you might be on the next episode if we film another one yeah. before you leave. Yeah, should be one more. And then maybe we'll have a stand-in or two. Yeah. A couple we're, exciting guests. We're going to be taking, we're going to be taking applications for Fitz replacements uh, over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully B- we'll find a couple of people. Big shoes to fill. Very <laughs> tall shoes to fill. <laughs> but hopefully they will, uh, they'll do a good job. We've yeah. got some people in mind. we got the homeless guy that was trying to sell his speakers like three months ago. Sounds we think just he like might me. be, yeah, he might be good. like pretty good, high energy. And he's nearby too. And he, yeah, might have, he, might, too. he might have more shit to talk about. You know, because, yeah, yeah. you know, the lockdown is mad for homeless people because like, where are they, they going to go? Well, I, huh? I don't know if he was homeless. <laughs> you know? I think he was just a crackhead. <laughs> or just a crackhead. I don't know if he was homeless. Yeah, yeah you never know. Homeless. He might have a nice apartment. Yeah, maybe. You're just assuming he's homeless because he looks that way. Yeah. You're judging I mean, the book by its cover. He's also trying to peddle speakers. It's how he gets his racks up, baby. And he also went to the to the fucking office building next door and while the shit was open and they were packing up merch. Yeah. And he, and he said... Oh, uh, is there any shit for me to steal today? <laughs> and then, and then, <laughs> today has always yeah, been yeah. there before stealing. Yeah, and then it was, it was like, no, nah, mate, it's just a bunch of boxes. And he was like, all right, I'll, I'll check back next week. And <laughs> oh, was, so yes. he's a little opportunistic, yeah. so it's fine. At least yeah. he asked. Yeah, he's polite. I suppose. He's yeah. up front. He's honest. Best policy. Honestly, exactly. he's he should the be a politician. Policy. Yeah. I'm going to accept bribes and not give a <laughs> fuck about my constituents. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, I like this guy. He's, he, at least he's honest. <laughs> hey, this guy's honest. I think, I, I think I'd vote for that. He's doing what I'd do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm voting for him. Yeah. All anyway. Right. Now I, that you're done with your news, we can get into general news. Let's get into some real news that has mm. an impact on the world. Things that matter. Things that are going on right now. Exciting stuff. Jacinda Ardern advises... Who's that? That's the New Zealand Prime Minister. From New Zealand? That's right. That's, that's where, we're, where we're from. I know, Toby. Isn't that delightful? Wow. Truly delighted. The, the way of the world, huh? Uh, well, she advises New Zealand hospital visitors against sex with patients during COVID. Oh, what? What a on. bitch! Come on, JJ. Miss Adern and the New Zealand Director General of Health Ashley Bloomfield. Who fucking cares? Ashley Bloomberg. It says Bloomberg. Said it again. Bloomfield were giving their daily COVID nineteen press conference when a reporter asked them whether an allegation involving a patient and a visitor who had sexual relations at Auckland oh. Hospital was considering a high-risk activity in the current climate. So people are like, I want to fuck my COVID-ridden buddy in hospital. You know, is that okay? Love is love, bro. <laughs> love is love. It does know no bounds. Are you normally, is it normally allowed to have sex with patients? Don't ask questions. Either. I don't think it's general. I mean, during these times, it seems a little irresponsible to go to a hospital and have sex with yeah, a patient. It'd probably be a bit irresponsible to go to a hotel quarantine and have sex with people there as well. Yeah. But people did that and nothing bad happened from it, right? Let's be honest, though. It's very irresponsible having sex in general. <laughs> you could get That's a why baby. I abstain. It's true. You could personal. get the clap by me. Baby, clap, AIDS. <laughs> COVID. COVID. Mm. I, I would say generally, regardless of the COVID status, that kind of thing shouldn't generally be a part of visiting hours. I would have thought, said Miss Adern. What a she would have interesting thought, quote. She would have thought, but no. <laughs> yeah. I, I would say she, generally. Generally, um, uh, <laughs> I think probably it's not the risk. best thing, eh? Generally, <laughs> generally, that's probably not the best way to have sex. I would have thought. Generally, <laughs> uh, but don't argue through you try it. You know, maybe sex in the hospital is like really good because of how sterile everything is. 
<laughs> yeah, because that's no that's anger. the thing that turns me on. Things plenty, being sterile. plenty of Viagra, yeah. plenty, plenty of stuff around they, to they, take. Why would they keep Viagra in a hospital? No, it's medication. Is it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's what if they need? What if? They, what if some guy is dying of blood clots and they're like, "Nothing's working. We need to thin his blood." And then they get like a bunch of Viagra and give it to him, and he's like, "Oh my god, you saved my life!" But now my dick is super hard, and then they go, "Well, that's." That's that. That's that's when the policy comes in, where they say, "Well, call your significant other for visiting hours," and then they get to bang. Yeah, it can have a conjugal visit. But visit. Uh, but apparently, just in our turn, saying it's oh, it's not not generally hey, boys. Hey hey hey! Fuck off! How dare you talk shit about Jacinda? Yeah, she's a goddess. She's loved worldwide. She is, she's a goddess. As far as honest leaders go, she seems like one of the more yeah. honest. Yeah, honesty is you know, her best policy for now until the various things she's doing wrong have been revealed. But yeah. she's you know this being among them. <laughs> right here, it's yeah. kind of, it's kind of, you know. I, I always thought Jacinda Ardern was based, but now I see it do, she's not based. It does seem like she's not really about the boys anymore. No, <laughs> which is kind of, kind of sad to be honest. That's all right. I yeah. mean, she's probably just doing what's best for everyone. No sex in the hospital. <laughs> Fine, right. Jacinda. Okay, Jacinda. <laughs> in other news, Jeff Bezos invests in startup to keep him from dying ever. <laughs> is seems, that a joke? From ever dying. It says. seems like a smart startup. Is that to a joke? <laughs> what, no. what, 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 who wrote this article? Let me find out for you. Let me get you the name, and number, what, and what, contact and what details. Publication? Uh, it, it's called Input, and it's an article by Tom Maxwell. Oh, he says Tom. Amazon founder and former CEO Jeff Bezos is the latest billionaire to invest in a startup trying to combat aging. It's according to MIT Tech Review, which reports the company called Altos Labs is launched with plans to further research into an anti-aging technology called reprogramming. That sounds alarming. Yeah. It Why the fuck? What PR team do these fucking people have? Yeah. Reprogramming. Yeah, it we, sounds like something that would happen in a, in a you wanna, spe- hospital hey, for hey. people that are struggling with their psyche. Hey, hey buddy. <laughs> I'm going to reprogram you. Hey, buddy, uh, you want to you wanna live forever or something? I got good news for you. We got this new startup. <laughs> it's called uh, Repro- Reprogram. That's great, Mr. But why are you making such intense eye contact with me? You want to live forever, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I can make Maybe. You I don't know. I really thought about it. I can make you live forever. Yeah. That's, yeah, a, that's cool. It's called, uh, it's called Reprogram. You're very intense. You're yeah. really intense. I've been reprogrammed. Oh. What do you expect? You don't seem very healthy for it. Well, I'm going to live forever, aren't I? There's lots of beads of sweat you'll on your be, forehead. You'll be fucking dead in the earth, fucking getting eaten by worms, and I'll still be alive walking over your fucking corpse. Hmm? This is oh, kind of aggressive. Re- are, you to, are you trying to make aggressive. sales? It's reprogramming. You think this is how sales work? <laughs> you want to live forever? <laughs> yeah. In essence, reprogramming works by adding proteins to a cell, which then instruct the cell to revert to a state where it can generate new young cells that form the basis of the human body. Oh, so we're just saying, hey, cell, come on, mate. Stop aging. Like Can't wait for them to test it and it just gives everyone like fucking cancer. You just, yeah, just but they'll be able to live to it forever though. So pop. Imagine living forever, but you just have like a chronic can- <laughs> case of all cancers. <laughs> you just have all of the cancers, but you're living forever. Yeah. You're, you're just, you're just a, walking, a walking tumor. <laughs> That'd be kind of sick. <laughs> <laughs> you're a walking tumor. Being a walking tumor? I know a few people that I would consider to be walking tumors. Really? Yeah. yeah. They just Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos being one of them. No, I mean, Maybe like, he's already been it, reprogrammed. It seems like uh, Jeff Bezos has got so much money he can buy anything, and he has everything he wants except he's getting old, and he's trying to buy that too. Do yeah, well, maybe he's just like, I need to spend all my money, but I'm going to run out of time. Yeah. I might just live forever, get it all out there, then yeah, neck well, myself. When you can live forever, billions and billions of dollars suddenly doesn't seem like a lot. Because of inflation. It needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand need, years in the future, that's I need to crumbs. be a trillionaire! <laughs> that honestly is probably how these motherfuckers think. It's the only way to get to that level is just by being, I need more. Like, well, this enough. well, that, you know, I've, I've like seen a lot of videos about, about all, the, all the fucking uh, research that they're doing on, you know, anti aging and shit like that. It's really, really fascinating. But it the, the begs yeah. the question is like, it doesn't make you immortal. You know, Jeff Bezos, you know, how funny would it be if he's like sunken. Hundreds of billions or whatever the fuck into this tech, then and he then, gets hit by a car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, well, yeah, I'm, that, fi- I'm, I'm, I'm finally, I'm finally immortal. Oh my god, I'm not eating. <laughs> fucking just plane crash like the fucking day after. Like he's not immune from dying, which mm. which is which is great for for people to know, I guess. <laughs> so that you know, yeah. 
Any, you as, can, any uh, aspiring assassins out there? It's possible you know? to kill yeah, Jeffrey. He's, he's at, you know, he's not immortal, but he won't die of old age, which is like, you know, yeah. come on, dude. Really? What percentage of people die from strictly old age? Um, I would not even know that. Because it, it's not like, like old age is just like a general term they use. Like when, yeah. when you're above 80 years old and you get hit by a car because you walk really slow because you have chronic arthritis, does the doctor write that down as... Death by old age. I would write it down <laughs> like that. Hey, old fuck should got out of the way. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got old as fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, see, that's true. Don't have a chance. It's always it's what is it a heart attack? Is it like you yeah. got two rings? Heart attack. So stroke. you can't just die from being an old fuck. No. Oh, no. Well, no, because just being old doesn't mean that you die. It's just like you, being old means that your body falls apart, which leads to you dying. So yeah. it's like you die yeah. of liver failure, you die of a cancer, or you, or you die of a, a broken heart, or of a heart attack, or fucking a twenty-year-old, <laughs> or a broken heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Broken heart. maybe yeah. you lived your life with someone and then they died, and then you had a broken heart, didn't want to go on. That happens. That, that's <laughs> something that happens, that. though. Because, like, have you ever heard that? Like, some like some grandma will die, like, in, like, d days or weeks or months after her, her husband dies. It's they probably because say, her body can't handle the stress. It's just because she's a fucking copycat. Old fuck. Yeah, she's, she's just unoriginal. <laughs> yeah. She, she, she was upset that Jumping she on was the upstage. She wanted to be the center of attention. <laughs> oh, my God. Grandma died. Yeah, real original. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, Grandma. Grandpa. We get it. <laughs> Grandpa did it two years ago. <laughs> Holy shit, this next uh, headline is kind of scary. Oh, yeah? Singapore trials patrol robots to deter bad social behavior. Oh, what could go wrong? That's not Orwellian. I don't know what is. Singapore has started trialing robots to patrol public areas and deter poor social behavior in its latest effort to further augment its strong portfolio of surveillance tools. Ranked one of the safest countries in the world, Singapore has put two autonomous robots <laughs> on trial to detect bad behaviors such as flouting of COVID-19 safety measures, smoking in prohibited areas, and the improper parking of bicycles. <laughs> Three of my biggest offenses right there. Uh, <laughs> I just imagine like a fucking Judge Dredd fucking that you're smoking, you're smoking while leaving your bicycle out and, and, you're, not you're, and you're not wearing a mask. And the guy just comes over, he's like, Error. <laughs> fucking shoots you in the head. I like to think it beats him up, like yeah. with those robot fists in a really human way. Well, yeah, he, he plays hip hop beats while he does it. The two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It just feels right. <laughs> <laughs> I I agree. What's that scene from? Uh, it's this old office movie where there's a scene when they like beat. Uh, they, they beat up the printer. Yeah, yeah. Where they beat yeah, up the printer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the music. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, that's that's what I thought of yeah. when you said that. The yeah. robots are called Xavier, apparently. Xavier. Charles Xavier. X Xavier or Xavier? I mean, it's spelled with an X. So Xavier. Is that really how you say it? I X Xavier. Spelled. Isn't it Xavier? I think some people say Xavier. Some people say yeah, Xavier. I've heard, of, I've heard of both. They're equipped with cameras that can detect bad social behavior and trigger real time alerts to the command and control center. Oh and God. then they call in a drone strike. They're, they're not. They're not equipped to like. What do they look like? I, I don't. I don't know. Let me. Uh, let me actually have a look here. Blue, it, can it, you find a picture of the Xavier oh, Singapore they, they, robot? Yeah, if you pull yeah. it up, we can see this. Oh, and it's not even it, that. It, it fucking, looks not very threatening. Yeah. Oh. They're just robots on wheels. I, I just, just like, kick, kick the fucking like, thing over, spray paint the it looks fucking like, camera. Yeah, they it seem, looks like the Domino's delivery. Yeah, there it there. is. They seem to just be kind of per, uh, portable. For the audio cameras. listener, it looks like a smart car, but it was was given birth by a mother that was drinking far too much alcohol. It looks fucking deformed. I don't know. I wouldn't underestimate it. I bet it's got all kinds of weird blades and drills inside that Dude. come out when you've been. <laughs> showing bad Dude, social behavior. That shit just comes <laughs> up to you. He's bad. fucking spray painted. How never bad social behavior? Bad social behavior is just such a weird way of putting it to me. It yeah, just feels like so very vague. Creepy. So vague and arbitrary. But uh, yeah, apparently they kind of... Singapore is... They're aimed to have more than 200,000 police cameras by 2030. More than double the current number of cameras deployed across island states in Southeast Asia. Oh my God. 200,000 police cameras. Mass surveillance is the future we're heading towards, I suppose, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. So much fun. I love being under surveillance constantly. It's great. 
I don't have anything say, to add to that. I say looking at my phone, which is looking at me. Oh, it's got that little camera thing. Hey, FBI agent, how are you? Oh, NSA, yeah, sorry, you got, yeah, you got me mixed up. <laughs> oh, man. What did he say? Um, he said, not today, not tomorrow, maybe next month or the month <laughs> after or the year after or the year after you aren't safe, we will get you. He said, if you're not committing any crimes, you have nothing to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know who else? More cameras, I say. What? <laughs> you know you know who said if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear? Who was that? I think it was Goebbels. It who? was Go- Goebbels. Go- Goebbels. Go- Go- Goebbels. The fucking uh, Hitler guy. You know Ghibli? No, yeah, no. It's just no. a classic cop-out, yeah. isn't it? Class- yeah. Classic government cop-out for surveillance. Yeah, you get nothing to hide. hide you get nothing to fear. fear. It's like, well... It's like, well, what, uh, who's deciding what, uh, what <laughs> I should have to hide? Is it you? <laughs> I don't know if I trust you very much, Mr. Camera Guy. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Mr. Physical aren't embodiment people of worried, camera. Aren't people worried that Australia is becoming a police state? Yeah, I think a lot of, that, of places are Because they, of like, uh, they have like a fixated persons unit for like counterterrorism, but they're using it to like arrest fucking uh, journalists and, and YouTubers and satirists. I've heard nothing of the sort, but that sounds yeah, terrifying. Yeah, I heard it. was uh, Friendly Geordies. Friendly Geordies. Yeah. Uh, I didn't remember? Hear, I, I never got clued in on that whole thing. Really? No. Yeah, fucking crazy. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, they, they, they gave a politician a lot of shit. Then they sent a goon squad to his house. They knocked yeah. over. It, was, it wasn't it was even Geordie's. It was his. It was like, it was like making a, a documentary on the politician or something, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was something like that. It was very critical of this, of this yeah. guy who they, we're not going to mention because I don't want a goon squad coming to my house. Mm. But, but yeah, it was like uh, the, the, he, his, his fucking uh, partner got, got arrested um, for like... I think they're getting sued by the guy, and so like they, they just happened to find him out on the street. So they asked him about the suit and said it was like bullshit or whatever. Or that it wasn't, you know, that the, the, there were the, there were like errors in it or whatever. Yeah. And then they sent, you know, the, the guy sent the, the fixated persons unit, which is like an anti-terrorist unit, to this dude's house, and like they, they like, pushed, fixated like, unit. they pushed over his mom and like all this shit, and like what? brought him and arrested him. It was fucking this crazy video. It was like a big thing. Yeah, I did. I did like hear. Uh, about you know everything that happens around it, and I just never like looked into it myself. They call it the fixated the person. Fixated unit. That's unit. So creepy. What does that mean? Like that person so that's I mean, fixated it, on it's, something. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's the fixate on a person of interest that is like you know promoting like a uh, I guess a, a terroristic threat or a uh, threat of national security. Mm. So like you Yikes. know you know like a red flag kind of thing, but yeah. they they they, they, they just... literally were given like commands from the fucking uh, the politician dude uh, to do it, which is like well you kind of need that separate so that you don't literally have a little Gestapo to yeah, fucking just... go out and, <laughs> and, and do shit and just... and silence uh, public dissent. Yeah, that yeah. kind of shit just discredits it immediately. Hey. Yep. Yikes, Australia, huh? Hey, yeah, you're going to the going. land. You're going to the land of the free, Cam. So that's I'm, right. you guys got to figure it out over there. Yep, that's, that's sure. what they say about America. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> it's, it's all figured, figured, figured out. out. Yeah. No problems. There, there are no never problem. any problems. There's I'm not slightly afraid. <laughs> it's it's perfectly fine. <laughs> you want to hear some good news? Just to top all this off. Yeah. Some great news. RuneScape developer reverses decision to kill HD mod. Yeah. Oh! Yes, oh, they that's did cool. it. That's nice. After fan backlash. They did so it. So last week you might remember we covered this RuneScape story, which is a hugely popular MMO, one that's been around for so long. I used to I used to play it all the time. I still play it from time to time. Um and yeah, they basically there's there's been this mod called RuneLight HD, which is a community project uh that Jagex that that was being worked on for years. It was years. being worked on for years by a private miner, the guy that was behind Runelight, and then yeah. Jagex at the last second said the entire time he was reaching out to them being like, Hey it's cool if I do this. You're like, Yeah, sure. And then as soon as he was ready to release, you were like, Ooh Yeah. We kinda wanna do this. So how about fuck you? Fucking and then pulled him. And then boom, dude, massive protests. People were out in arms, screaming, lighting <laughs> trash cans on fire in Falador. It was fucking insane. Falador was a was a fucking was a war zone. I don't know if you guys saw the amount of the amount of dwarven cannons that were being yeah. fired off. Horrendous. Killing Chaos. killing the guards of Falador over and over. No 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 he, I can't. I can't even get the words. It was fucking People pandemonium were praying in, Falador. in the streets of Falador. They are praying. They were praying. Prayers Begging. flicked. Yeah, a lot of very nasty things being said about uh, Jagex. Jamflex. Yeah. Jamflex. 
saying that they were Nazis, etc. Yep. A lot of uh, horrible. Uh, uh, I wouldn't have gotten that for him. <laughs> Call them Nazis. <laughs> That's what they're calling them in the game, man. I didn't say shit. But yeah, basically, uh, Jagex saw the response. They saw the in-game protests. They saw the hundreds, thousands gathered even. And they reversed the decision. Apparently a day uh, before its release. Uh, so there you go. And, then, and now uh, Jagex has decided to work with the Runelight HD creator. Oh, that's wow. nice. Wow, wow, how so. nice. It only, it only took massive protests in the destruction of Falador. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the murder of many The murder of many, many guards. guards. You yeah. know, new people trying to get their fucking pickpocketing skill yep. up couldn't do it. <laughs> Those guards were they were just doing their jobs. They had nothing to do with this. That's what right. happened to the thieving? What happened to people that were trying to grind defense to level twenty? Yeah. They I were stuck the they were stuck in fucking Varrock and Lumbridge. It's really depraved times. For Awful the community. depraved times. Yeah. Falador is a beacon. Yeah, they had to like switch worlds. <laughs> no, there was no escape, Toby. There was no really? escape. It was it was it was pandemonium. No way. The Jagex added that it had seen unacceptable levels of harassment aimed at its employees from angry players on social media. Wait, and so they reiterated gave in? the company will not tolerate such behavior. Wait, so in other words, Jagex, Jagex or whatever the fuck they're called is saying that they they do make deals with terrorists. Yes, precisely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did negotiate. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And they've, you know, well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. The Jagex community had it say. Jagex doesn't have a fucking spy. <laughs> just <laughs> Yo, should talk them. Just yeah. should talk them for doing the right thing. Also, th these people aren't really terrorists. They, no. they were just murdering a few guards. Yeah, just a couple of guards. Yeah. I don't know. I saw a lot of dwarf cannons, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's the news. That is the news. Wow. Just that's the news, guys. That's good news. It's a really good way to end off the story because I that yeah. that was keeping me up at night, just thinking about yeah, just. Falador's been through so much over the years. I don't know if you guys remember that really the, that huge glitch that happened where, where PvP was enabled in Falador, and then there was a mass, a oh, yeah. ma it was a genocide. It was the Faladorian genocide. I don't know if you remember, it was been like five or six years. I've heard so about that. How, how long ago? 2006. Just there early was, days. It was very early days. Probably when I started playing. Like 15 years ago. If we want the producers was... to give us an instant answer to something, we just got to ask them a question about RuneScape. Yeah, <laughs> 15, 15 years ago, there was a massive genocide in Falador, killed the likes of which we've never seen. It was, it was full destruction of like level 20s of like level 11s of like level 5s what? just coming right from Lumbridge trying to trying to do a couple of quests what's just that it's the destruction of the trust of the people in their non PvP worlds, you know, that's yeah. taken away from them on that yeah. day. They, exactly. Now, they, now thought, they, never know they thought that they change. were safe. Yeah. But they they their safety was stolen from them and they and they paid the ultimate price. And now in this in the sacred gravesite in this in the sacred this this just ground zero. Yeah. Falador's yeah. RuneScape's ground zero. And there were massive <laughs> protests. Is it? Is it? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's more of a Varrock thing. Is there, is there, is there any, castle, would you say that Falador's ground zero produces? I mean, you literally spawned yeah. back at uh, Lumbridge. Yeah. Yep. Falador's ground zero. What does that mean? I think Saga's paying off the producers. They just agree with whatever he says. <laughs> it mean, you know, I mean, you know, you know, it literally know. is. But. It's like, it's like <laughs> Falador's like the, the, you know, the, the, the basically the targeted place of terror in yeah. RuneScape for the last 20 years. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know, it, 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 ground zero it, in that sense. It's very, very much ground zero. So in what other sense? I don't know. I, I wasn't, like, thinking of it that way. What were you thinking about it? I was just thinking, like, ground zero is in, like, the starting point of the game. Like, yeah. this is no, the first no. floor. What no, they... ground zero is in... Yeah, is, yeah. In, is in that reference. Yeah, 9-11. Yeah, which we should never forget, <laughs> oh, by the way. Oh, is that what yeah. you meant? You guys, yeah, it's right very there. important that everyone know this. Oh, uh, true. It's my dad's birthday tomorrow. Never oh, forget. true! <laughs> Never Happy forget. birthday to Fitz's dad. And That's also, right. uh, also that other thing happened. What? <laughs> yeah. No, that was the day after. Time yeah. zones. Yeah, sure. But no, you know, if my dad was in it, okay, forget it. I mean, never forget, but forget it. <laughs> Guys, this has been the Misfits Podcast. <laughs> it's another week. I'll, uh, we'll see you next week, eh? How, yeah. How's that sound? Uh, Pretty yeah. cool to me. Uh, I don't hear you guys. Wait, we're, gonna, we're gonna be weekly now? We always have been. What? Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> You're fucking delusional. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, who? <laughs> Stop gaslighting me. <laughs> Guys, asked. We'll, we'll see who you. asked? <laughs> we'll see you next we'll week. We'll see you next bye. week. Love you. Thanks, JPL. Thanks, Gamer Subs. And buy my shaker cup right now. Yeah, do it, bitch. Pieces Stupid ass fucking pussy. Fucking pieces of shit. Yeah. Love you. Buy, buy it. Degenerate. Bye.
Bye. Ed, why'd you have to yell at them in the end, man? I love the audience. Why are you going to be like that? <laughs> You're only lying because you know that they're going to put that in the, I know. all the way at the end.